Hello, I am Jason Denise, and I work with Eagle Copters. Eagle Copters was founded in 1975 by Mel O'Reilly, and today Mike O'Reilly, his son, has been running the company since the 1990s. We recently had Bryce O'Reilly, who's joined us as of a week and a half ago. So we're third generation now, 48 years young, and plan to be around for a significantly longer time. We are specialists in the global leasing world when it comes to helicopters. Uh, our leasing products also are accompanied by parts and component support, along with complete tech records, as well as fleet management capabilities. We also are into the used aircraft market, where we provide significant value through our MRO by providing like new aircraft with strong mission capabilities uh, anywhere in the world. We are to parts and program support, providing various creative programs to customers flying Bell aircraft and Sikorsky S-76 aircraft too. And, and lastly, but not least, we have a strong engineering group, a design engineering group with a DAO status, that is a design approval organization status of Transport Canada, where we can design, validate, and issue STCs, and then use the bilaterals to transport to transfer those STCs in other parts and other authorities around the world. In short, we are a one-stop shop operation, providing complete end-to-end -end services uh, when it comes to helicopters in the light and medium segment across Bell, Sikorsky, Leonardo, and Airbus platforms. Today, Eagle's presently head office in Calgary, Canada. We also have a facility in Santiago, Chile, and we have an engine facility in Springfield, Missouri. We recently divested out of our MR facilities in Australasia, but we're looking to expand potentially in other parts of the world, namely potentially South Asia, if not the GCC. Our company is founded on customer-centric approach, and with that, we're really focused on providing innovative solutions to customers to lower their operating cost. And that, in a nutshell, my friends, is Eagle Copters. Well, when it comes to the segments that Eagle is actively involved with, such as the lights and the mediums, uh, post-COVID, we see a lot of higher public orders in, in play, whether it's police, whether it's uh, forest, whether it's firefighting. Uh, we're seeing quite a lot of activity that was postponed during the COVID times for the reasons of capital budgets. But we're seeing them quite often um, you know, coming back to the market. We're also looking at, you know, quite a bit of increase in used aircraft market, mainly because, because of COVID again, there's been a supply chain constraint that's resulted in, in uh, extension of lead times when it comes to new aircraft. That in itself is driving a demand on used aircraft because operators need aircraft uh, because of increasing demand. So it's caused a very interesting situation in the market where the supply demand is really off kilter because of the availability of parts. And I'd say probably the last key driver when it comes to all of this is there's been increased consumer spending post-COVID, whether it's tourism, whether it's charter flights, uh, there's been an increased activity in around that. So I think these three areas are really some of the three biggest points in the segments that we work with. I mean, at the end of the day, for helicopter operators, it's critical to watch their cost of operations, cost per hour. Uh, we look at it not just from an operating perspective, but total cost of operations. So when it comes to acquisition costs, you know, instead of acquiring a new aircraft, perhaps an aircraft that could be five or 10 years old, but retrofitted to meet exact mission capabilities for a third of the cost or half the cost is a significant uh, driver in reducing their cost. If not acquisition of aircraft, customers can turn to leasing aircraft. When you lease aircraft, you know, you don't have the capital constraints anymore. It's down to your operating costs as such. So that, that opens up cash that can be deployed in other areas of the business. And also in leasing aircraft, you know, they could probably work with customers, oh sorry, suppliers like Eagle that provide, you know, creative and customized parts and component solutions where we work with customers based on their mission capabilities, mission requirements. You know, it's not like here's the only option and that's what you're left with. But we work to drop their operating costs. We work to understand their needs. 
we customize it, we take off the on condition items, we do a lot of different things that not necessarily is freely available in the market today. But with our programs, on average, we could be 20 or 30% cheaper than, than the OEMs. So that's another critical piece that will help drop their operating costs. And I would say lastly, I do believe that customers should really try to understand based on the emission capabilities, what are the various platforms out there? An example that we have worked with now is the S7060++. We have literally reinvented the market for the C++. To an engine, medium aircraft, 12 seater, and the value proposition that comes uh, with the C++ both from a capital and operating perspective that Eagle has brought to the market has been significant. It's literally displaced H145s, H135s, and has also rivaled H AW139s in some cases. Uh, mainly because there were a lot of these aircraft available since the oil crash in 2014 and 15. We picked up significant inventory. We rebuilt them to operating spec based on our MR capabilities. And we've deployed these aircraft at maybe 30% or 40% the price of any of the competitive models in the market. So when you look at a solution like that, it's, it's, it's disruptive in a good way, but it provides customers a significant benefit in terms of operating a similar mission segment at a much reduced cost of operation. Mm -hmm.